Good morning. And if I don't sound like my typical bright cherry self, it's because I'm not. <laughs> um, I'll let you stare at this funky um, container. It's a snack keeper that I picked up at Costco yesterday. And it has a lilac lavender top. Inside are three different uh, trays that transport cupcakes. There's also two egg trays included. However, those egg trays and cupcake trays, maybe it'll be better if I show you from the side, um, can all be removed because they're just drop-ins and the containers can be used for something else. And I think it was $13. It's pretty funky and they had different color lids. Anyway, I'm just now getting to make myself a coffee. Yeah, it's late. Uber late. Um, because we had an uninvited visitor last night at 2 o'clock in the morning. I was kind of getting warm, so I turned the. La 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 la. Okay. Keurig, do your thing. Give me energy. So um, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I turned the fan on. Maybe it was like 10 after. Um, we have a ceiling fan in our bedroom. And there's a switch right next to me, and there's a remote, but I just flipped the switch right next to me. Hi, Chester. And I thought right before I flipped the switch, I thought I heard wings flapping. And I know the chicken, a chicken couldn't have gotten all the way up to our bedroom. So I turned the lights on, because Polly was asleep. Um, turned the lights on turn the fan off and sure enough there's a bird flying around in our bedroom at least it wasn't a bat although I've caught two bats before and for those of you who don't enjoy my rambling by all means uh, skip to the next clip <coughs> um, but I thought I'd share with you why I'm kind of in a weird mood and I get out of my momentary funks pretty quickly so once I have my coffee and breakfast I will be fine it's just that was very, first of all, it's very disturbing. In Russian tradition or folklore, having a bird in your house is really bad luck. Like um, a random bird, not like keeping birds is bad luck, but having a bird fly into your house is bad luck. Well, it turns out that the little bird, it looked like a little baby, um, must have gotten in through a little gap between the accordion fold of our in-window air conditioning and the poor thing was so scared. It took us an hour and like 40 minutes. We kept trying to, I, I opened all the other windows and opened the screens to see if it would fly out, if we would just kind of shoo it out. And it kept getting near our window, but it never really made it out. So we were just freaking out. We moved every piece of furniture to see where it finally landed. We looked underneath the bed. Like the, even the dogs were scared. Moses crawled underneath the bed. He was so petrified. So we finally kind of gave up. It was like 3.30 or 3.45. Like, it was getting late. We didn't have a lot of sleep left to have before going, you know, getting up for work. So Polly got up for work this morning, left. I didn't even hear him. I was out like a light. Like, I had really disturbing sleep after that because I kept thinking the bird's going to land on me. You know, it's just, it's kind of uneasy. I almost went and slept in the guest room. But I did stay and I kept waking up because every little thing like would brush against my leg. I'd be like, ah, well, not like scared bird, but you know, it's it's disturbing to have an animal you don't expect to land on you when you're asleep. Anyway, so this morning I got up and I'm like, oh, I have to see if I could find it. So I called Polly to see if he found it and he said no. He's like, did you? I'm like, no. So I went and used the bathroom. I come back into our room. Um, I'm getting dressed. I turn everything off so the fans all come off and I hear flapping which is good because I thought maybe it got injured because it did at one point fly into the fan which was just stopping so the bird was flapping around and it got caught between where the window comes down and the air conditioner is nestled in coffee and I was able to pull away the accordion piece. Why my cup dirty? Ugh. Not having like, yeah, I'm gonna change my attitude and I'm gonna choose to be happy. So the bird 
um, I pulled away the accordion portion of where the air conditioner sits and eventually the bird did fly out. I resealed everything. Um, hopefully it doesn't find its way back and he's happily outdoors where birds belong. So there's my morning story. So now I have to... Oh, poor chickens are getting a late start themselves, but it's rainy and kind of dreary. So I have to see what kind of greens I could find for them to, to snack on because I like to bring them a little treat. Then I'm going to start my morning and luckily one of my morning meetings was rescheduled. Hey Chester, what are you looking for honey? Chester, come here. Everybody was concerned when the thunderstorm, you were so scared. Alright, so I'm going to go feed the animals and myself. Oh, oh, there's Moses. He was so scared last night with a bird. Oh my gosh. Alright, I will hopefully show you where I, when I start dinner. I haven't decided whether I'm going to make it in the oven or in a crock pot, the beef bourguignon. I might do the oven method. Stay tuned. Well, hello ladies. How goes it? Hi. Hi girls. You were just super chatty. What's going on? You want foodies? Let me go check if you have eggies. Did you make us eggies? Did you? Hmm. Slackers. No eggs. Alright, well I fed you. Let's go see what the... Chester's got his toy. And what she's in the car. <laughs> We're not going anywhere, honey. I need to get some storage sets for my continued organization. So, Mushki, get out of the car. Come on. Come on, honey. Mushi. Mushka. Get out. Oh, I think I'll bring in the toilet paper and paper towels later. I just have no energy today. Well, three hours of sleep would do it, wouldn't it? Alright, let's... Let's go get dinner started, okay? No, no, Chester, no. No, Chester, we're not going anywhere. So I'm just doing a little bit of house maintenance, cleanup, organization. I'm kind of tuckered out today, so I'm not going to cook. We're just going to have, I think, I don't know, either cereal or something simple. I will make the beef bourguignon tomorrow, and then the, I picked up a piece of salmon at Costco, so that I will make that the night after. But I did want to share that uh, the all-surface cleaner, the earth-friendly products that I get at Walgreens, is $2.99 for a 22 fluid ounce uh, spray bottle. Um, I just reordered it and if you order $25 or more through Walgreens it's free shipping and on top of that, let me see if I could do that without dropping my laptop that's leaning precariously, I also log in through my Ebates account and right now an Ebates Walgreens orders are an additional 8% cash back which I don't know about you 8% is 8% so I'll include a link to my referral link to Ebates for those of you who don't already have an Ebates account it's a free account essentially what you do is before you go shop online you log into your Ebates account do a search on the shop that you would like to shop at and then it will show you what is available um, often it is a cash back and the cash back is sent to you in a check form on a quarterly basis and I could show you that since I have been a member of Ebates I have saved $882.73 and now, right now I only have $2 cash back pending so essentially when I shop um, I have some standards like joanns.com. I always log in through Ebates. Uh, there's often free shipping coupons on top of uh, the cash back. I also shop um, through, you know, for Walgreens and HSN always through Ebates. So I get cash. I think that uh, HSN is three percent. And then there's also daily deals. So they'll post um, what the current doubles are. 
for example, Dell is 4%. Um, not this particular laptop, but the one before I purchased through Ebates um, on the HP website and I got 6% cash back and a coupon for 25% off. So it definitely does um, pay to look. Um, yesterday, no, a couple of days ago, I did some bra and panty shopping and um, and I buy my stuff at online because I like the cotton bras without underwire uh, from Lane Bryant and it was five, three or five percent I'm sorry I don't remember off the top of my head but the other item the other thing was that there was also a fifty dollar off a hundred and fifty dollar purchase or more so I essentially got fifty dollars worth of free stuff so it does pay to search and to you could simply Google uh, coupon for the for the shop that you're um, want to check out before you check out just to make sure there aren't some additional discounts available. So I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm really tuckered out. I'm actually going to take Tylenol PM tonight. So three hours of sleep, not too shabby. I worked until 7.40 tonight. It was a very long work day. And I have a long day tomorrow with um, nine meetings, a, a lot of meetings, lots and lots of meetings. So I have to plan my day very accordingly, especially since I am going to be doing the beef burger yum tomorrow. So uh, wish me luck. I could do it. I know I could do it. It's just there's days where it's a blur. You wake up and then it feels like you're already going back to bed. So I hope you've enjoyed my little just little John today um, in the daily vlog. I know this is my laptop feels like it's gonna slide off my lap. Okay. Don't forget the thumbs up. It's free for you. Oh, shady thumbs up. It's free for you and it helps me out. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I will try to answer. And whenever I see a, um, a comment in question form, I answer those first and then I set aside an hour or two every few days to um, reply to comments. But questions definitely catch my attention um, immediately. If you want to share with your friends on social media, by all means, that would be fabulous. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.